Hi everybody, this is Anne. Today I'm going to show you six ways to use your trimming tools. Trimming tools can be used in a variety of ways. This trimmer was designed to be used as a hand extruder. I used this one to make a decorative band around a mug along with a handle. I adjusted the depth guide on the back of the tool and then cut the strip out of the clay slab like so. For the band, I just measured where I wanted to attach the strip scored it, slipped it, and attached it. To make the handle, I wanted a bit thicker cut, so again, I adjusted the depth guide like so. When I had the depth about a quarter inch thick, I again cut the strip. I scored, slipped, and attached it under the decorative band. Next, I use this trim tool to create a nice rim. Notice that I have the depth guide set to a thick setting. Then I made the cut. I wanted to create a hexagon, so I measured out a template for one side of the six-sided shape. I placed this along the strip and made the cuts. Next, I turned the pieces around to form the hexagon. I scored and slipped them together. I threw a closed form and centered the hexagon on top to make a collar of this piece. I marked the piece to the top center, then scored, slipped, and attached it. I then cut a hole through the piece in the center of the collar. I used a modeling tool to flatten the sides right up to the collar. Here's another one I created just using a smaller hexagon. The third use for the tools are traditional trimming on the bottom of a bowl. As you see, there are many shapes and sizes available for this task. I used the flatter trimmer to taper down the jagged edge of the size. I then switched to the curved edge to give the bowl a nice rounded profile. I used the squared off side to make sharper cuts on the inside of the foot, like so.
Now if I didn't like the rounded profile, but wanted a sharper edge on the side of the bowl, I can use this trimmer like so. Here's how I finally finished this piece. The fourth way I use the trimmer is to make identical lugs for the sides of a bowl or a platter. For my bowl, I use the inverted trimmer for this cut. I cut two pieces the size and shape that I thought would go on the side of my bowl. I bent each piece to the shape that I wanted, then scored, slipped, and attached them on either side. Fifth, I used the extruder trim tool to create a foot for a hand-built bowl. I traced and cut out a circle from a clay slab. I then placed a piece of plastic wrap over the bottom side of a styrofoam half sphere. I molded the slab over the styrofoam, then ribbed the clay and smoothed the sides. I centered the whole thing on the wheel and marked the center of the bowl for the foot. For the foot, I used this triangle shaped cutter. As I'll need to curl this cut into a circle, cutting the slab into a rounded shape like so can help alleviate cracking. This made the strip easier to bend to the contour I needed. Next, I scored, slipped, and attached the strip to create this elegant foot. I could have just attached it using the banding wheel, but I put mine on the wheel to make sure that it was nice and round. For those who struggle with trimming a wheel thrown foot, this hand-built technique might be a good alternative. Lastly, I used the trim tool to create vertical decorative appliques on the sides of a hand-built vase. I cut the front and back of the vase from a template out of a leather hard clay slab. I smoothed the sides, then placed each piece inside the styrofoam ball sphere, like so, to round the pieces. I placed them round side up and flattened the edges to the table so they look like this. I then cut an inch wide long strip from the leather hard slab. I beveled the edges of the long strip and the sides of the round pieces with a cheese cutter. I scored and slipped the beveled edges of each one. I then attached one side to the long strip, like so. I sealed them tightly together. I then did the same thing to the other side and ribbed the edges to make them sharp. I then used the faceted trimmer to cut a strip and bend it around a water bottle top 
to create a collar for the top of the piece. I flattened the top of the vase a bit with a piece of balsa wood. On the wheel, I found the exact center of the piece, then scored and attached the collar. I then cut out the inside of the rim. Next I used the triangle cutter to make slab strip appliques. I attach them to the sides to create these cool decorative facets. I then cut a bottom to accommodate the faceted strips like so. Here's the finished bottle vase. I hope all these projects inspire you to be creative with your trim tools so that your pieces reflect your unique vision plus increase your craftsmanship skills. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate if you'd just hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time in the studio.